now we look at our time and we ask ourselves, why have we become so distant? And I was thinking, and I really don't know an answer for that. But we do know that there's a verse in the Quran in meaning that says, and be ye not like those who forgot Allah, and he made them forget their own souls. Such are the rebellious transgressors. Surah Al-Hashr. Those who forget Allah, Allah causes them to forget themselves. And this ummah, the, cent the focus of all of the, and I wouldn't be surprised literally if there's a million volumes of literature written in Islamic sciences. All of this has come about from a people so in love with the Quran that they sought to understand this religion in its fullest. They've put years and lives in writing books around this one book. And we were a nation of this book. And it does not surprise me if, I, if this is a good insight, or could be completely wrong, that we have become a people who, has for, who have forgotten Allah. And as a consequence, we have been caused to forget ourselves. And because we are a nation focused on the Quran, the Quran is our identity. It is our connection to Allah. Hold on to the rope of Allah. It's not surprising that we've forgotten the Quran because in forgetting ourselves, we've also forgot what we passionately and rightfully so held on to and hold on to, which is the Quran. So we ask Allah for, for afia. And that does not mean that, you know, we don't read the Quran. I'm sure everyone here does read the Quran. But what I'm trying to say is we've lost that sweet relationship. In fact, I, I think Abu Bakr could correct me, but we even have a talk uh, planned out in a sense on befriending the Quran. We need to develop a relationship with this book. It is not a book just for barakah, right? And as we just mentioned, it's a book for every good. And what I've noticed in myself and in others is we've lost this tender, loving relationship with the Quran. Do you kiss your Quran every day? If you can't read it, do you at least open up and, and look at its beautiful pages? Flip through at least? At least touch the pages? Do you read a line? Maybe you've memorized something small, so even if you're in a rush, or oh, at least I can say something in my mind of some Quran. Did I read Quran? Let alone did I ponder it, right? And having a relationship with Quran, and Quran itself, I believe, really calls for the, the pondering of it. A sign of a deep relationship with Quran is that one, one reflects upon its ayat. One ponders it. One dives into the ocean of the Quran and goes down and swims looking for the glorious pearls that are certainly spread therein in abundance. But we like to stand at the side of the shore and... You know those people that don't like water, so they just kind of go in to their ankles and they splash around a little bit and then that's enough for them? That's the kind of the way that we, we treat the Quran. But we should be diving in and diving down and finding those pearls and those rubies and, 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 and benefiting from this glorious, glorious text. 